With Corel Draw, you can create custom stickers and decals using your own photos or artwork. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make two different styles of stickers, a simple shape and a custom shape. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download the sample design file and a written version of this tutorial to follow along. There are several ways to print stickers. You can print them at home on sticker sheets that come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. For large quantities or custom shapes, you may want to use a print shop or online print service. Just make sure you know the specifications before you start, such as color mode, file format, cut lines, etc. In my first example, I'll be creating a 4 inch round sticker, but you can use the same process to create an oval, square, or rectangular sticker. The sticker artwork is already provided on both pages of the sample design file, and page 1 is where the round sticker will be. I'll start by selecting the ellipse tool for the circle, but for a rectangle or square, the rectangle tool is just above. I'll click and drag to create a randomly sized ellipse. In the property bar, I'll make sure the lock ratio is off, then enter 4 inches in both object size fields. Pressing P centers the shape on the page. I want a black background, so I'll click the black color swatch to fill the circle. The circle is on top of the artwork objects, as we can see in the Object Stalker or Objects Inspector for Mac users. So I'll change layer order by right clicking on the circle and choosing Order to Back of Page. I could also adjust the order by dragging and dropping right in the Object Stalker. While the circle is still selected, I'll add an outline color by right clicking a green color swatch. On the Mac, I would right click on a swatch and choose Set Outline Color. To adjust the outline, I'll double click the Outline Pen icon on the status bar. In the Outline Pen window, I'll change the width to 0.15 inches and change the position to Inside Outline so that the outline stays inside the page boundaries. If I decide not to keep the outline, I can right click the No Color swatch or just change the width to none. And now my sticker is ready to print. Now let's try a custom shape sticker using the contour tool. I'll open page two to start over with the same artwork. The first step is to create a boundary around the entire design. First, I'll use the pick tool to marquee select all objects, including the text, then press Control G or Command G on the Mac to group them all together. I now have a group of four objects, which can be seen on the Objects Docker. With the group still selected, I'll go to the Object menu and choose Shaping Boundary. This produces a black boundary outline around each object. Next, I need to create a contour from the boundary. I'll open the Effects Tool group and activate the Contour tool. On the Property bar, I'll choose Outside Contour and Round Corners. Then I'll click and drag outward a bit to set the boundary. The blue outline is useful for showing not just the contour, but also any holes that will need to be removed. For a custom shape like this one, you would probably use a print service to both print and cut the stickers. Removing holes eliminates curves that would otherwise be read as cut lines. Once the boundary is wide enough, the holes disappear, but I'd rather keep it like this and remove holes later. I no longer need the boundary now that I have the contour, but the contour is based on the boundary as we can see on the object's docker, so the contour needs to be broken apart. With the contour still selected, I'll press Ctrl or Command K to break it into two separate objects. Now with the pick tool active, I can select any segment of the boundary and press delete to remove it. Now for some contour modification. I'll activate the shape tool and select the contour to display its nodes. First, I want to straighten out the bottom line. I'll marquee select the nodes here and press delete. For any remaining nodes, I can double click individual nodes to remove them, use control handles to adjust the shape, or move nodes as needed. I'll also remove the nodes around the hole in the contour. Now I'll switch to the pick tool, apply a black fill, and move the contour shape to the back.
If you're printing at home on sticker sheets, print a test page first on regular paper to make sure the sticker design is properly aligned. If you're using a print shop or online print service, they will specify what outline properties are required so that the contour can be read as a cut line. With the contour still selected, on the property bar, I'll change the outline width to hairline and right click a color swatch to change the outline color. In this case, I'm using red, assuming that's what my print shop requires. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on creating a sticker in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download the sample file and a written version of this tutorial to follow along.